A few days ago, I released one of the very first range and penetration tests for the Immersion RC Ghost. And some people said, well, uh, you know, it just, you kind of went around the buildings, but I want to see a true, like, bando test. And that is why I am sitting here in the stairwell of my hotel. No, my hotel is not a bando, but it is a giant concrete building with metal stairwells, cinder block walls, and lots and lots of walls separating the rooms. Seems like the perfect way to test the penetration of the ghost system. I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. Okay, so here's what we got. Here's ghost, and we're gonna put it into race mode. I'm not sure if you can read that. In normal mode, it's at 60 hertz update rate. In race mode, I believe it's at 180 hertz with telemetry. In pure race mode, I think it goes to like 220 hertz with no telemetry. So I believe that race mode is the closest to how I have my crossfire set up. Crossfire is gonna be locked at 150 hertz with telemetry. Ghost is gonna be locked at 180 hertz with telemetry. And both of them are gonna be at 25 milliwatts. And for the record, on the Ghost, the LED is green, or kind of yellowish green. And if I turn the radio off, it goes red, okay? So that's how we'll know when we're in fail safe. So that's where the, the controller's gonna be. And I'm also gonna leave my goggles here recording DVR so we can see what the video looks like. I've got the antenna on the goggles pointing down toward the end of the hallway where the stairwell is. Obviously, we're gonna be going through a ton of walls, but that's the point. This is a penetration test. Video transmitter is at 800 milliwatts. So we're on the eighth floor, and I'm gonna just take this guy to the stairwell at the end of the hall, and we'll see like how far down we can go, how many floors can we go through. I mean, technically, if you think about it, we're going through all the walls of these rooms, at least a little bit. Let's get out of here. Okay, so already we're starting to see some breakup. The LED is going uh, yellow and red. It's not staying solid green. And the further I go down here, the more red it gets. Okay, yeah. That's pretty solidly red. Oh, here we go, solidly red. Yeah, and as I come back up the stairs, it starts to come back. And as I come back into the hallway, it's pretty solidly green again. The big question is, did we lose video? I mean, I won't know until we go back and check. Let's do this with Crossfire now and see how it does. For the Crossfire receiver, it's only got two states, green and red. We're gonna know in a minute. down. There we go. Now it's interesting because we got two stories down before we went fail. There we go. It's back. We got two stories down before it fail saved, but then it didn't come back until we were almost back on the floor. Without flying it or looking at black box, we can't really know how much it was micro fail saving before it finally went, but it did hang in there longer. Now we're gonna test Ghost at 100 milliwatts. The reason we're doing this is that's gonna be the maximum output power available to people in Europe for, I don't know, regulatory reasons. We can already see a big difference here. My ESC reboots sometimes, don't worry about that. We can already see a big difference here going into the stairwell. Uh, whereas we were starting to see break up into the hallway. Now we've gone into the hallway. We're we are still starting to see some degradation of the link. Let's start going downstairs and see what happens. 
So this is the point where I lost the link entirely at 25 milliwatts, it's still hanging in there. Some of you guys are gonna notice that the telemetry on the module is flashing in and out. And you're gonna wonder whether that means that we're actually having fail safes uh, and the LED on the receiver is like misleading us. No. And this is about how far Crossfire got on 25, on, uh, 25 milliwatts. It's still hanging in there. Remember that the upstream link from the receiver to the module is only at 22 milliwatts. The downstream link from the module to the receiver is at 100 milliwatts. So when you see that telemetry blanking out, it is the LED on the receiver that is actually what we need to pay to pay attention to to determine if we are fail safing. So here we've gone down from the eighth floor to the fifth floor, and it's still hanging in. We haven't fail safed yet. Third floor, still hanging in. I gotta replace the CSC. <laughs> this is stupid. First floor, and employees only beyond this point. Well, I'm not gonna go any further. If I go outside, I'll actually be getting better coverage and less penetration because potentially it'll like go out the window. And we won't be in a penetration situation anyway if I go outside, it'll just be distance and I'll just have to walk forever. We've gone all the way down from the first, from the eighth floor to the first floor, through the stairwell, metal stairs, concrete wall. And don't forget on the other side of that wall, there's more walls of the rooms themselves. And And 100 milliwatts ghost is hanging in there. It has not fail safe. Mm. It's interesting because 100, uh, why do my range tests always end up with me walking up and down huge flights of stairs? I don't know. It's interesting because 100 milliwatts is four times the power of 25 milliwatts. And that should result in a doubling of range. But we went way further on 100 milliwatts than we did on 25. It almost makes you wonder if I was misinterpreting the LED on 25. I mean, after all, the motors didn't start beeping to indicate fail safe. I don't know. I'll see you at the top of the stairs. There's no point in going up to 350 milliwatts on Ghost. We got all the way down to the first floor on 100 milliwatts. We'll just be out in the parking lot and even further on 350 milliwatts. So let's do Crossfire at 100 milliwatts and see how it compares. It should be even better, right? This is where it, it should really go further than this. It went further than this on 25 milliwatts, so. Yeah, okay, something was flaky. I don't know what it was. Sixth floor. Well, I've got my exercise for the day, that's for sure. What can we take from this test? First of all, I know this is far from a perfect test. I'm, I'm staying in a hotel room, I'm not at home with all my gear, so I have an idea for a much better test that I will do when I get home. And that involves, I'm gonna black box log, so that black box logging has a debug setting that can show you every time there's a dropped packet, a micro fail safe. And that I think is the big unknown here. Like, was Ghost, Ghost didn't drop the link, but was it having like terrible micro fail saves? There's no way for us to know just based on this test. I know this isn't a perfect test, but I'm so excited by this stuff and I know you are too. And I want to get like the initial information out there because there's so many people saying 2.4 gigahertz cannot penetrate walls. And the truth is all else being equal, you're right. 2.4 gigahertz won't penetrate walls, but all else is not equal. There's, it's not just output power times frequency equals range. There's other things that are going on 
And it's possible that Ghost is like taking advantage of the wider band with the 2.4 gigahertz band to get better coverage. The bottom line is, they both, I think, I haven't even looked at the DVR. I'm gonna bet that they both way outran the video at 100 milliwatts. The video was long gone before the control link was gone. And at that point, what do you care? Unless you're doing amplified five gigahertz video, it's like 1.3 gigahertz video, the 98% of pilots are doing just 800 milliwatts, five gigahertz video. And I bet both of these control links are more than outrun that range. I'll have to see when I do the editing. That's it. I love this kind of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy flying. More testing to come. More better testing to come. I know this isn't perfect. Please, please, I know. But I wanna get this stuff, it's something, it's anything. You didn't think it was gonna go that far, did you? And it did. But was it having micro fail saves? Oh, I don't know. Let's find out next week, week after next. Happy flying. What are you doing in here? The least you could do is subscribe or join my Patreon or like just here's another video I picked out for you. Jeez.